This is how you can set up and use a premium system for your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started with this. All right, so the first thing that you're actually gonna have to do is verify a discord bot. Now this seems a little bit challenging. You are gonna need to get it into 75 servers and then complete the verification process. But once you do this, you will get access to the monetization tab, which is discord's brand new monetization feature for verified applications. So just go ahead and go over here once you have your verified app and go ahead and click get started right here you just have to complete all of these steps as well so make sure you do that if you're not in an eligible country be patient they are rolling this out to i think every country that has eligible payment information so just uh, be patient with that. All right, so now that we've completed everything and we have access, we can actually go ahead and, and agree to the terms of use and the terms of service. And then we can go ahead and click on agree. And now we'll be able to create and manage our SKUs, which are basically the monetization metric or the monetization creator. So to do this, we're gonna go up here and you can either create a user subscription or a guild subscription. A guild subscription means a user can pay using the premium and the guild will get access. A user subscription means that a user individually will be able to pay for this and they'll get access to all the features. So you can set up whatever you want. We'll just go ahead and use a guild subscription because that's a little bit more popular in terms of features as most bots are directed at guilds and not users. So we can just go ahead and create one. By the way, you can only create one of these. So you can only have one active subscription published at a time. So I'm just gonna do the guild subscription and we can give it a name. I'm just gonna call this test subscription and we can go ahead and click on confirm here. All right, so now that we have our name, we can go ahead and give it an icon. I'm just gonna do this graphic right here. Um, and then we can also go ahead and set a price. So you can do all the way up to 299 from 299. I'm just gonna go the default price because it doesn't really matter. We can add a benefit. So you can add multiple benefits if you'd like, but obviously you have to customize this first. Uh, so this is gonna be what you get from buying a subscription. So first we'll add an emoji. So you can do Windows key, the minus, and then you can hold that down. And at the same time, we're gonna go ahead and do a dot. And then you can open up your emojis here and you can just select one that you would like. So I'm just gonna do this one. I'm gonna remove that. We can set that emoji and then we can give it a benefit. So this can be our test benefit one. And we can go ahead and say what you get from buying this it doesn't really matter this is just for testing you can add as many as you like i believe so you could continue to add benefits we could do another one this time we'll do a globe and we can go ahead and say test benefit two and we can say this is also what you get from buying this so we can just go ahead and create as many benefits as we want but now that we have our sku we can actually go ahead and manage it within the code there is one thing i would like to point out is this is how you're gonna view your monetization analytics. So you can go ahead and do the test subscription. And the other thing is you do have to have a team that your bot is in with monetization enabled. So that will all come before you can enable this, I believe. And there should be links in there as well when you're enabling it. But now that we have our SKU set up, we can actually go ahead and click on publish and we're gonna go ahead and publish it. So now that we published it, we can actually go over into a Discord server here. And I'm gonna go ahead and find my bot. This is the one we're using. And as you can see, we have an upgrade button here and if we go ahead and click on it that's going to be our test subscription right here now i want you to notice if we view profile there's no subscription button because this is a guild subscription and not a user subscription so you'll only be able to see this in guilds that do not have a subscription enabled already so now let's actually go ahead and get into the code on how you can manage this and create filters for this and a bunch of other different things all right so the first thing that we're actually going to go ahead and do is we're going to go over into our interaction create event we're actually going to go right above here and we can go ahead and start off by simply saying if and we can go ahead and do command premium then we can do equals equals true we can open this up so this is going to be commented our premium filter and this is gonna be filtering whether or not guilds are from the premium subscriptions or not. So we can enable this within individual commands. Then we can do const response equals await axios that get, make sure you define that and install that right up here. So we can do const axios equals require, and we're gonna go ahead and get our axios package. Then in here, we're gonna go ahead and get our discord API URL. It's important to note that the premium is not within discord.js yet. So we actually have to use the raw API for this to work. So just go ahead and get this URL, make sure you replace it this user ID with your application ID that has premium on it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to go ahead and replace the ID with this. Then after we do that, we can actually add a comma and we're going to go ahead and open this up here. In here, we're going to go ahead and get headers and we can open this up as well. And we can go ahead and get our authorization. And that is going to be set to our bot. We can do space. We're going to get process.env.token just like that. All right, so now that we have our 
response, we can go ahead and do some handling to get all of the premium servers. So we're gonna do var server, and then we can do await response that data that for each, and we can do async data, and we can actually go in and open this up. We're gonna do let guild id equals data dot guild underscore id. Then we can go ahead and do if, and we can do guild id equals our interaction dot guild dot id. Then we can open this up, and we're gonna do server equals, and we can do premium just like that. So now that we've done that, and we have our server variable, we can come down here, and we're gonna say if server is not equal to premium, then we can actually go ahead and open this up. We're gonna go ahead and do const URL equals, and we're gonna open up a variable, and I'm gonna go ahead and get a URL here. This URL is going to be the API URL. It's gonna be an interaction with your interaction ID and your interaction.token slash callback. So we're gonna be using this to create an interaction. Like I said, discord.js does not have this. It does not have the type that we're looking for. So we actually have to create an interaction using the API. So now we're gonna do const JSON equals, and we can open this up. We're gonna do type is equal to 10. We can do data, and that is going to be nothing because this already has built-in data within that data type. Then we can go ahead and return await fetch. You make sure you have an updated node version for that to work. We can do URL and in here, we're gonna open this up. We can do method, which is going to be post and we can do body, which is going to be our json.stringify and that's going to be our json variable. Then we can do headers, which is going to be our content type and that is going to be our application slash json just like before. All right, so now that we've done all of this, we are actually good to go. But before we do this, I just wanted to go ahead and take a look at the discord documentation for reference. All right, so this is going to be our response type. We're gonna be using response type 10 and it's gonna send a message that looks like this. Now, for some reason, there's a discord bug for me that doesn't send the message, it only sends the upgrade button, but this is what we're working with here. So basically, if the server does not have premium, we're gonna go ahead and send this type 10 message that gives an upgrade button just so that the user can't use the command without being in a premium server. So now we can go over to other and we can go ahead and do premium test.js. And here we're gonna go ahead and create a basic command and then we can do equals require and we're gonna go ahead and get discord.js. Then we can go ahead and do module.exports and we're gonna open this up. We're gonna start off by doing premium and we're gonna go ahead and set that equal to true. And then we can go ahead and do data and that's going to be our new slash command builder. Now we can actually go ahead and create our command. So we're gonna set a name which is going to be premium test and we can set a description. We can say testing premium and we're gonna go ahead and add a comma. We can do async execute. We're gonna go ahead and get our interaction and we can go ahead and open this up. So now we're gonna go ahead and just reply with premium test pass. This is an auto complete message for me. I'm going to go ahead and set informal to true. So it's going to only reply with this if the server has premium. So let's go ahead and open up Discord and actually test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we have our tutorial bot here. It is turning on and now it's online. So this server does not have premium. So we can go ahead and run our premium test command and we can just go ahead and send it. And as you can see, we have our upgrade button. Now, like I said before, for some reason, my client does not show the message that it should. Yours might, uh, but mine doesn't. So if we go ahead and click on that upgrade button, it's actually going to open up our subscription description. So now that we have our premium working, let's just go ahead and test out one more thing. If we go ahead and set premium to false or just completely remove it and we go ahead and try it again, this time it's going to say premium test passed. And the reason is because we did not enable that premium filter. So that's what that filter is actually doing. It's checking to see if the server has premium. And if it doesn't, it's going to go ahead and send this upgrade button here. All right. So I've gone ahead and created another command here. This command actually creates a premium server. So if you have any questions on doing any of this, go ahead and view the discord docs in the description below it's going to show you how to do all of this i am currently using the create post event as you can see there's a git post event there's also a delete post event but right now i'm using the create one which is actually just post and we're going to go ahead and post our new server id so this is going to create a premium server that does not have to pay for premium that way we can actually go ahead and test our feature out so let's go ahead and run this code feel free to copy it down but like i said i'll be linking the discord docs in the description below so you can go ahead and create the check for checking premium servers and also a delete. This is just creating one so we can actually go ahead and make sure this command right here is working properly. All right, so now we can actually go ahead and run our premium create command and we're gonna get the server ID of this server. So let's just go ahead and copy that in. And as you can see, we get an error. So if we go into the code, it's gonna say unknown SKU. So to fix this, we're actually gonna go ahead and comment out this code for now. And we're gonna go ahead and create some more code. What we have to do is we actually have to go ahead and console.log the SKUs. Doing so, we're gonna get the SKU ID that we can actually go ahead and put 
put in theirs. So the code for this is actually going to be right here. We're going to be using git and then we can go ahead and git our SKUs and we can actually go ahead and get the ID from that as well. So let's just go ahead and run that real quick. All right. So the code for this is going to be right here. We're basically going to be getting the git that we just saw in the developer portal and we're going to be using our application ID to get the SKUs and we're going to be authorizing this with our application token. Then we can just go ahead and console.log this so we can get the ID that we're going to go ahead and put in here so that we can actually go ahead and create a premium server. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So over here, we're just going to go ahead and run our command. So I believe it's going to be this one and we can just put in a random value and now let's go over into the console here. So what we're going to see is we have two values. We have our type five and we also have our type six. So this is going to be the guild subscription group, which is type six and the type five is going to be our test subscription. So that's going to be the ID. So we're going to go ahead and replace this ID with the ID we just got from the type five test subscription. It's going to be the ID at the top. So we can go ahead and put that in there. So now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and actually comment out this code because we don't need it, but I want to just save in case. Then we can uncomment out this code and we're actually going to go ahead and run it now. All right, so over in the Discord server, we're actually going to go ahead and test this out. So we can go ahead and run our premium create and we're going to go ahead and get the server ID that we're creating it for. And we're just going to go ahead and send it here. Now, as you can see, we did not get a response, but let's go ahead and go over to the code because I did add a console.log event. All right, so over here, we do get our response. As you can see, I console.log the response and we're going to get the data. So now it looks like we've actually gone ahead and added the guild that we needed to for the subscription. So this successfully worked. I don't know why the response said okay did not work, but this did work. So now that we've enabled this guild, let's go ahead and run some code and create the code to begin with so that we can check to see what guilds have premium. All right, so because this bot has maxed out 100 commands and I don't wanna create a whole nother command, I've gone ahead and commented all of the code we just worked with out and I went ahead and put in this code right here. So what this code is going to do is it's gonna use the get event and it's gonna go ahead and get the entitlements using the authorization that our bot token has. Then we're going to be using the server's array using a for each for that response. And every time we get a guild ID, we're going to go ahead and push that guild ID to the server's array. And then we're going to go ahead and send that server's array with a join in a message. I think one thing that we could do is we could say if, and we could do servers.length and we could do less than or equal to zero, or we could just do equals zero. Then we could just go ahead and open this up and we're going to go ahead and return await interaction or apply. And we could just say content and we can say there are no servers. And I'm also going to go ahead and set infirmal to true. So that way, just in case, um, we'll be able to do that. And then we can actually go ahead and stick this within an else. Uh, so that should work a little bit better. Now we have our error handling. So let's go ahead and actually try this out. All right. So over in the discord server, we're back in the test server. We're going to go ahead and run our premium create command. Now, like I said before, it is the same command, um, but it's different code. So we're just going to go ahead and input a random value and we can actually go ahead and send it. Now, as you can see, we're going to get these servers with premium and we have a bunch of these because when I was testing this out, I did use a couple of other servers, but these are going to be all the servers with premium. And actually I did run a console.log event. So it's actually going to go ahead and give us all of these servers with premium within this array. So if you want a little bit more information, you could go ahead and console.log the data and that will give you everything within this information. And I think it actually gives you a user ID. I'm not a hundred percent sure what this user ID is because right here we created the entitlement with the code. So the user ID right now is my bots ID. I'm not 100% sure if this is actually going to give you the user ID of the person who bought the subscription. Uh, if it does, that would be great because you could use that for more features. Um, but if it doesn't, then that's just going to be the bot ID. But I want you to notice in the server that we added, we do have this badge that says the server has test subscription. This just means that the server has test subscription. So if we actually go to a server that doesn't have a test subscription and we go in and open it up, as you can see, the badge is not here. So that's a little bit different. Um, I believe the upgrade button should disappear when we have a subscription. And so maybe I just need to reload Discord, but that is how this premium system works. So that's how you can make an advanced premium system for your Discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. Again, we used Automate in this tutorial for reference. So if you're interested, the link to add this to your servers will be in the description. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.